judges are ready, are you not? Okay, we'll get everybody seated so that you can see and hear. Now, what we would like to ask each and every one of you is that while the different contestants are speaking, that you be quiet. If you have something to talk about, why you just talk about it outside when you're leaving this evening. This is very important to each and every one of the contestants, and they would like to be able to be heard. This is not an easy thing for them. So we are going to start right now with contestant number one, Fallon Scott. Good evening, Fallon. Now listen, what we're going to do this evening is kind of like a two-parter, but what the judges would like is a little bio about yourself, something you might want to tell them. Just take a deep breath and go for it, okay? Okay. Thank you, Ginger. Good evening, judges, ladies and gentlemen. I am contestant number one, Fallon Scott. First of all, I would like to thank everyone here for supporting Angles and the Miss Angles pageant. My given name is William Allen Michelle, but all of my friends know me as Bill. I was born on August 17th, 1971 in San Francisco, California. Upon graduating second in my class from Sonoma Valley High School in Sonoma, California, I attended the Santa Rosa Junior College. In September of 1989, I moved to Oklahoma City. I started the art of female impersonation and earned my license as a nail technician. Currently, I am the head makeup director at Mass Market Communications, which is an advertising agency in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That means I commute back and forth from Tulsa to Oklahoma City. It's really hard. <laughs> but last, I would like to leave you with a saying that I always try to remember. You can never have rainbows without a little bit of rain. Well, there's been a lot of rain recently, but this rainbow is well worth it. Thank you. That was beautiful, Fallon. Now we have a question for you. That was beautiful, okay? And it's not a difficult question. I'm sure you probably have an answer for it. You probably have thought of it many times. What we would like to know is, what does female impersonation mean to you? Thank you, Ginger. What does female, imperson excuse me, female impersonation mean to me? Female impersonation means a lot of hard work. It means a lot of dedication, and it means a lot of entertaining. You cannot have it. You cannot be out here entertaining without a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. For the past three and a half years, I've tried to do that. I've gotten better and better and better, and hopefully I will still get better because we can never be the best that we can always be. Thank you. Yeah. Contestant number one, Fallon Scott. The night she was born, I was doing a show somewhere. I don't know, goddammit. God knows where it was, but it was somewhere. She <laughs> Bitch. Keep it down, kids. Keep it down. Another judges. Thank you for the green light. I, once Andy learns where the on switch is, there's no stopping that boy. We're waiting, though, for our high sign from the lovely and ever so talented Patty Melt Curtis. We are. We are, are you kids getting good service from these waiters? Oh, I just got the... That was it. Good. All right. We are ready then to bring to the floor right now contestant number two, Anita Richards. Hi, Anita. You just done great. You look just great. It's a beautiful gown. Well, what we're going to do is kind of like a tea party, but we're going to start because the judges would like to hear a short bio about yourself, a little about your life, maybe something that you would like to tell them. It's all yours. Take a deep breath and go. Hello, Oklahoma City. How are we this evening? As you know, I'm Anita Richards, a.k.a. Kid Harrell. I'm a native Oklahoman, a member of the 30-something generation. Yay. <laughs> I'm a professional theater makeup artist. Uh, I'm a 12-year veteran of female impersonation, which has provided me some wonderful nights, like this, for instance. But I will say the most wonderful night of my life was the night I met my husband, November the 2nd, 1986. He's a wonderful guy. I'm very appreciative of him. Uh, I've lived in the last 30 years a lot of places from California to Vermont. I just recently moved back to Oklahoma in December 
after four years in California. I moved back because I found out that there is no place better to live than this state with these people right here. Thank you, Anita. That was beautiful. And now we have a little question for you all. Yes, let me pull it out of the hat. There we have it right here. This is a very simple question. I know you've probably been asked this, and I bet you've thought it many times to yourself. But what does female impersonation mean to you? Well, to me, female impersonation means a lot of things. But I think what it means to me is best explained when I have someone who's a member of an audience walk up to me after a show and say, you know, when I came in here, I had some problems and I wasn't feeling very well, but you came out and you did a number on stage and you entertained me and I forgot about what was going on out there and you made me feel a whole lot better. And I, if you can please, just one person, much less a whole crowd, it's a wonderful, wonderful art form, and I think we, the gay community, should be very, very, very proud of it, and I'm, a very, I'm very proud to be a part of it. That is contestant number two, Anita Richards. Thank you, Anita. The judges are riding. We, we do want to keep this very on the up and up. And the green light is on. Sure or unsure? <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Thank you. And now we'll bring to the floor, if we may, contestant number three. Let's hear it for Amanda Love. <laughs> Yay, girl. Gorgeous gun. You've got to let me borrow it sometime, but we've got to get another one just like it so we can sew them together. Now listen, I know you've had a busy evening, right? right. Well, the, we've got kind of a double thing for you this evening. First of all, the judges would like a short bio about yourself, something you might want to tell them. So get some air in those lungs and go for it, okay? Okay. Hi, Ankles. How are you doing tonight? Good. Well, let me tell you, I was uh, raised in Louisiana, but I've lived in Oklahoma for the past 15 years. Um, I've been doing female impersonation for the last nine years. It's going on nine years. My given name is David Harris, but I've chosen the stage name Amanda Love. I do work in uh, retail menswear during the day, but ladies wear during the night, as you can see. <laughs> and um, I really have, I have just as much of a ball doing it as you have watching it, apparently, because from the crowd response, you've had a wonderful time watching this pageant tonight. So I just want to hope you Enjoy the rest of the pageant, and thank you very much. Stay right here with me. Yay, thank you. Now we've got one question for you. It's not a real bad one, so you don't have to be nervous or anything. I'm sure you know the answer to this right off the top of your hat. But what does female impersonation mean to you? Well, I've been entertaining all my life since uh, preschool plays, uh, community theater, drama class, things like that. Female impersonation, as it means to me, it, it started off as a way for uh, the gay community to entertain themselves in a way, sort of put their little divas on the stage without actually having them there and just dressing the guys up for some fun. It's evolved into a, a really unique art form, uh, both for the gay and straight audience. and. Uh, I think it's something that's going to be here for a, quite a while, and it's gotten so much better over the last 10 years. Look at where we are. Look at this pageant tonight. So it means a whole lot to me, and it's the entertainment I didn't expect to do for this long, but it, I hope to keep doing it for quite a number of years more. Thank you. That is contestant number three, Amanda Love. We are marking things. We are, we are. We're going along as quickly as we can. Our time is just fine, though, isn't it, Checkers? Yeah, it's just fine. She didn't keep it. God damn. Totally disinterested. Evidently, they've got a bridge for some upstairs. <laughs> Hello? Hello. <laughs> oh, was he? How nice of him. Yes. 
Right. Too bad you don't have some toast. You'd have jam to put on it, wouldn't you, darling? <laughs> Puke. Oh, thank on that Patty's ready. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now, now you're doing real well about the talking, but I still hear a little mumbling, and we don't want any of that. If your stomach is growling, face the bar. We won't be able to hear it up here, okay? And let's bring out contestant number four, Taylor Bryan. <laughs> Hello, darling. You doing okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, you are. It's been, you just look as fresh as a daisy, bitch. Anyway... We kind of got a two-parter tonight now for you. First of all, the judges would like a little bio about yourself, something that you might want them to know. So take some fresh air in those lungs and tell them. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and judges. I am contestant number four, Taylor Bryans. My given name at birth is Brian Taylor. I was born and raised here in the state of Oklahoma. I'm 25 years old and I fall under the sign of cancer. I have one older brother, and since my parents had already had a son, they wanted a girl. So I always tell my mom, and I'm fortunate enough to have her in the audience tonight, that, well, she got a girl after all, kinda. <laughs> I received all my formal education uh, through the Oklahoma City Public School System, and then I went on and attended Oklahoma Junior College, where I received an associate's degree in business. My main objective tonight is to become your next Miss Angles and represent this fabulous club at the 1993-94 Miss Gay Oklahoma pageant. And to end, I'd like to leave you with this. It doesn't matter who you love or how you love, but that you love. Thank you. That was beautiful, my dear. Now, we have a question for you. It's not a real difficult question, and I think you probably have an answer for it somewhere in that pretty little head of yours. So if you would, if you'll answer this question for the judges, what does female impersonation mean to you? Female impersonation means to me that I can express my art and bring to life the illusion to you and that I can educate people and let them know that this is an art. It's not just a pastime. And yes, it can be done for a living if you choose or not. And that's what I can do. Thank you. Thank you. Contestant number four, Taylor Bryant. Okay. So they have to color in these squares, and that's what, it does take a few minutes, you understand. That, that's what kind of, <laughs> now Lee is way ahead of things. Oh, we're doing real well. Oh, you moved along fast on that one. My God, you've been smoking all night, kitty. That's it. Blow me a ring, baby. Okay. The green light is on, so we will move along, and we will bring to you right now contestant number five, Damien Dang. Let's hear it for contestant number five. Hello, Damien. Now, I want to tell you that we're going to have kind of a double thing here. But the first part this evening is that the judges would like a short bio about yourself, something that you would like them to know. So gather up all the strength you got, take the mic, and go for it, okay? How are y'all doing today? Well, my name is Miss Damien Dane. Uh, boy name, Steve Richmond. I started out female impersonating at the rec room a long time ago. I had kind of a shaky start, and it's still kind of shaky, but I made it here tonight to enter Miss Angles to entertain you. And I feel like it's a big step for me, and uh, I just wish that uh, everybody here was entertained. <laughs> well, I'm 24 years old, and uh, I like to dance a lot. You probably see me out here on Saturday nights. I'm up here on the stage by myself, just dancing away. And I'm kind of proud of myself because it's took me a long time to get here and to get the nerves 
to talk. <laughs> and thank you. You're okay. Don't go off. You should always be proud of yourself, my dear, and you are. That's good. Now, we do have a little second portion to this, okay? Now, it's a very simple question because I know you probably have an answer for it. This is one of those things, if you like to do this, you know. The judges would like to know, what does female impersonation mean to you? Female impersonating means to me releasing what I feel inside trying to, in a way of dancing, expressing my feelings through the music, and <laughs> thank you. Don't run off. Take a bow. This is contestant number five, Damien Dang. These things are scary when you're not used to them. They really are. Of course, I mean, <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And it's the only time I get it, too, is when I'm here. The green light is on. We ready? Yeah. Thank you. When you see, when you get the title of head judge, that means you must let me know. That is your job this evening. Thank you. Okay. Right along and bring out right now for the judges yours. Contestant six. Let's hit from Mia. Take her. Well, listen to that girl now. Listen to that. <laughs> well, this is a two-parter this evening, okay? And we're going to start with the first part, and that is the judges would like a short bio about yourself. Anything that you would like them to know. Okay? So take a deep breath, and you got it. Tonight, I'm contestant number six, Mia Taylor. My boy given name is Eric Tubbs. I was born and raised here in Oklahoma City, and I attended high school here, and I received an academic scholarship to go to college. I went off to college, and I, re and I got my degree in political science and business management, and that's been about three or four years ago. <clears throat> And since then, I've gotten into a company that's making me, that's letting me use my degrees. Um, well, uh, <laughs> uh, what it is is that I've been doing female impersonation about four months, a little bit, a little bit more maybe, but not much. My goal is to go back to school to get my master's degree in business law. Basically, that's summing up my, probably from birth to now. 